What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So let's continue our discussion about this tip and tricks for our uh, project setup. So last time I have taught you or I have taught you how to create some families of tags with some uh, typical notes that you add on your pipes that going up or going down. So this time around, let's continue that. So let's discuss uh again family creation for tags so this time around i'm going to show you how to create a family that shows the size of the pipe or the duct or the conduit as well as the direction of the arrow so we will be creating an additional uh, arrow direction for your uh, tag so we will be showing the size and then the arrow direction okay so that you'll be able to indicate the flow direction of your uh, system. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to create a new family here. Okay, so let's select new. Let's go to annotations. And then let's go to, again, generic annotation. So just open that. All right, so you just need to delete this one. So just delete that. And then we will be using a text 2mm again so I'm going to select the text so 3mm we only have 3mm here so I'm going to change that to uh, 2mm or I'm going to create a new type 2mm all right so 2mm and then okay and then again don't forget to change the size here and then you can specify here the text font right and then you can change here the width factor. So let's say I'll just use 0 0.8 and then I just select your OK. Right. So for example, so this is the sample text. Okay, so this will going to be the height of our text for the diameter. So we need to create a label that has this the same uh, properties. Okay. So to do that, let's insert first the label diameter that we will be needing for our tag. Okay, but for us to be able to do that, we are going to change the category of the family that we are working on. So currently, it's generic annotations. So this time, we are going to change that from the family category and parameters. We are going to look for, again, uh, pipe tags or duct tags. Okay, if that is what you want, so you can also create a duck tags. Okay, but in our case, I'll just use pipe tags here, and then I select OK, and then there you go, so it's now pipe tags. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save the file, just going to save it on my desktop, so I will call it uh, size, oops, size with direction, okay? And then make sure you only have maximum of one. Select OK and then save. All right, so it's now saved here. So that's the name of our family. Okay, now I'm going to insert the label diameter. So let's select the label and then let's use 2mm. So let's duplicate this. Duplicate 2mm. Create a new one. And then 2mm. And then change the width factor to 0.8 or 1. And then uh, for this, I'm just going to pick here. And then I'm going to use the diameter. Okay, so I double click diameter. So it's now added here. So let me just change the sample value here. Let's say 100. And then I select here OK. Right? Now I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to change... All right, I think this is all good. So I'll be using center and middle. So that's all good. So let me just resize that and then let me put it here. Let me just delete that sample text. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create now the flow direction. It's just a simple arrow. Okay, it's just a hatch or field region. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to select create. And then there's the field region. So just click the field region. And then let's create the arrow here. So it's just a line. It's 
just like that. So you just need to approximate. So let's say three, and then it will go down uh, uh, 1.5 or two. Okay, and then let me connect this here. There you go. So that's the the arrow. If this is too big for you, so maybe you can just change that. Like that. And then I can just mirror this to the other side. And then just make sure you close it. There you go. Okay. And then let me just align this manually. And then select OK. So that's now the, C, the symbol of my flow direction. So let me just move it up. Oops. All right. Then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this because I want to have an arrow below the size and top of the size here as well. Okay. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to mirror. Draw axis. Let's create. There you go. Okay, so let's select that one. Okay, let's move up. Just approximate. Just like that. Okay, and then after that, uh, let's select these two arrow. Let's mirror again. So this time around, we snap at the midpoint vertically. All right, so that we have the four direction. Uh, top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right okay so let's move this text somewhere here oops oh uh, all right Ready. okay so let me select okay and then let's move here okay right now, the next thing that we are going to do, so maybe what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to select all of this. So probably I'll just put it here at the middle. Okay, just approximate. Or uh, select this, move, snap. Here, there you go. And then I'm select all of this, just approximate, just like that. Okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, let's save this one, is we are going to create a visibility parameter for the four arrows. So, we are going to create visibility parameter for top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. Okay, so let's create a visibility parameter. So, let's select this one, family types. And then, let's select new type. Okay, so this will going to be our... Let's say top, right, oops, top, right, okay, and then let's create a parameter, let's create parameter top, right, top, right, uh, type, discipline is common, okay, type of parameter that will going to be yes, no, Group parameter under, let's put it under the graphics, and then select OK. So that's our top right. So let's create three more. So we are going to create uh, top left. So that's our yes, no, graphics, OK. And then we are going to create uh, bottom left, bottom left. There you go. And then we also create bottom right. Bottom right. Yes, no. Graphics. Make sure it's type. Then OK. Now, since this is a top right, I'm going to uncheck top left, bottom right, bottom left. And then let's create three more. So this will going to be our top left. So for our top left, we check the top left and then uh, we have bottom right so we check the bottom right then we check the we create bottom left 
bottom left okay and bottom left so, okay so we have the bottom right top left and then the top right and then okay now the next thing that we are going to do these parameters that we created we are going to associate that to our arrows here so i will be selecting this arrow the top right and then there's the visible i'm going to select this button here associate family parameter so just click that so this is our top right so i'm going to select top right okay okay so for this one this is our top left okay top left okay this is our bottom right bottom right And then this is our bottom left. Bottom left. Then OK. There you go. All right. So And then don't forget to save it. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, let us now check if the parameter is working. So you see this one. So there's temporal, uh, this one. There's a preview visibility. So let's click this one to turn it on. Turn on. There you go. So currently, if you are going to select this, so that is top right. So it shows us the preview here. So if I'm going to select top left, oops, sorry, top left. So if I apply this, it should go to the left side. All right, so bottom left, bottom left, apply. So it's bottom left. Okay, and then bottom right, apply. There you go. So basically, our uh, family now is working fine. So the next thing that we are going to do is let's uh, turn off now the preview visibility. And then let us now load this to our project. So let's say I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create a project for, let's say, uh, mechanical. Then, okay. So let's say I'm creating the mechanical piping. So I'm going to select the systems. And then there's the pipe. So let me click that. And then I'm going to click one point here. And then I'm going to pick another point here. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is going back to my family here. So after saving this, I'm now going to load this to the project. So load into the project. Or you can load now this into your project template. So that every time you create a template, this is now already part of your project setup. All right. So I'm now going to load this into the project. And then let me now pick this. All right. So currently, I forget to turn off the millimeters symbol. So I'm going to turn off that millimeter symbol first. So I'm going to select modify. And then going back again to my uh, family here. So let's select the label. So that's the reason why we are checking our family if it is working in our project. So select edit label, select diameter, make sure this one is turned off. So select the unit symbol. I don't need the unit symbol, so I'm going to select none, select OK, and then OK. Again, let's uh, save this one and then load into our project. Let's overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. And now let's select the tag again. Let's pick. And there you go. So it's now working. So that's our, uh, this is our top right. So for this one, you just need to manually move that, okay? <laughs> so you just manually move that if you want that. And then that's the top right. So let's. Uh, show the other options. Okay, one. Okay, then let's tag again. Then let's tag again. So I just want to show you all the different arrows. So that's the top right. So I select top left. And then this is uh, bottom left. And then this is bottom right. Okay. Right, so you just need to move it manually. That's fine. Okay. All right, so just click that and then drag. You can see that it will automatically uh, automatically detect the alignment.
that one. Okay? So that every time you create your pipe or every time you create your dock, you'll be able to show the direction of the flow, especially if you are doing plumbing or sanitary. So you can use these type of tags so that you'll be able to indicate the direction of your pipe system. All right? Okay? So there you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.